All right, so I can't tell you who I'm I'm hunting with, but I'm hunting with one of my buds, and he goes, "What is that?" That's, I know exactly what that is. That is spray paint. I don't know what. <laughs> I think it's spray paint. What do you think? It's spray paint. Yeah, I think it's spray paint. We got a nod, but there's no chases because I, I guarantee you, Kent was already here. Kent Kent was up here in Mooresville, North Carolina, getting his getting his chase on had some help from one of wonderful walmart associate we asked permission before we dug into this me and my bud but look at that guys the new unmatched adam page got two oh let's focus let's try that look at that belt you got two of a minty fresh for you mr syntastic mint in box guys oh these are walmart exclusives look at that CM Punk. I think Jersey's looking for this. So there you go. Check your Walmarts, guys. They're hitting hard. All right, so I'm getting some help from a pro. We're gonna take what we just found back to the toy aisle and not leave it next to uh, the bubbly mermaid, which where they were found. So I need a blue vest. Is this it? No? Here we go. See, collectors, this is how you do it. You don't just leave it next to the Bubbly Mermaid. You don't leave it next to Fortnite. You don't leave it next to the Sorceress. You leave it with all the other AEW. Adam Page, front row. CM Punk, front row. CM Punk, Adam Page. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do it. Hanging out in North Carolina. So you got your, your Lex, Lex Luger, and not many of us knew that they had, look at the guns. It's Sunday brunch time. There ain't nothing like a little Lex Luger bringing out not just that gun show, but the big guns. You gotta bring out the big guns Sunday morning. There's one of them, there's another one. Oh, here's a little Seth Rollins. A little Seth Rollins. We saw him that Saturday night. Raquel. Got your Mr. T's and Hogan's. What's on sale? Kane. Oh, Stacy Keeper's on sale. Looks like I'm getting a Keebler today. All right, let's see what else they got, guys. Here you go, your Star Wars end cap. You see, I have your micro galaxies. Look at that. Bigger and Dan. And Tika, two Tikas. So it looks like this Target doesn't have what I'm looking for. So our buddy Zach Jack Dan said that they don't have anything at this Walmart. I beg to differ, Dan. That's the guy that I need. That's the guy that I want. But that line is huge. So I'm going to go wait in line, Dan. So wait for me, bud. I'm going to pick up a little Ricky the Dragon. I don't know, I'll probably wait. Man, that's my guy. Got nothing else. He was right though, Dan was right. Nothing else. Some Black Black Panther legacy, but there's my Ricky the Dragon. Finally found him. Hey! Here you go, Man Cave. I think you said you were looking for a maggot. Some Darwin. Havoc. 
Bone breaker wave. Bone breaker wave. So is that bone breaker? So if you get all of that wave, do you get to build that? How big that is. That's a crazy awesome build a figure. I'm, and you can get the build a figure for 349 bucks. Stop by Fort Jackson Target. Don't look like they have too much different from everybody else. Got some client. Three clients. Four clients. So four clients, four Tika. Vader's, Obi-Wan's, Vader's, Lando's. Those are some good cards. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, five Tika for clients. Keebler on sale. Is that big arms? Normal arms work out. We got here. Grab a Grand Inquisitor. So you got some troopers, man. Army built. One, two. <laughs> Five death troopers. And a raider. Tuscan raider. Not just any raider. Not the Vegas Raiders or the Oakland Raiders. Tuscan Raider. No chases. Uh, who to get there, Nidby? Who, who are you hiding? Oh, another Tika. Man. Nidby. All right. Hey, go ahead, granddaughter. Thank you. I need, I need Obi-Wan. Nothing down there. Okay, you got some Falcons. Five Falcons. There's some mission fleet. There's uh, He Who Remains upside down. He Who Remains up right side up. Trap jaw. Some good, good, well stocked. Lightyear in Jurassic Park. Alright, here's a Pokemon. A little damage to the box there. Just a little bit. Go work out. Work on your arms. Kane and Keebler on sale. Black Panthers. Some Sabretooth. Wolverine. Killmonger. And Black Panther. And Darwin. Oh, first time seeing this. Homecoming, Ned, Peter Parker. Um, let's check the paint apps, guys. I'm gonna wait for the clearance. Clearance on the backpack set. Get your two for one. Clearance backpacks. I don't know what's what. That or that. Legends. I don't know what's what. I don't know what's what. But yeah, we're gonna. Hold off on that. Wait for the clearance. Anything else? No, nope, it looks like it's zoned. There's nothing else back there. Oh, G.I. Joe. Not the G.I. Joe we're looking for. Oh, oh, snake eyes, snake eyes, snake eyes. Really? Awesome set right there. I just wanted to show you guys that as I put up. Baroness and Scarlet. Hey, punchers. Oh, these are new. Haven't seen. We saw the saw the pebble. Marsha pointed out the pebble. First edition. Adam Smasher. 
Tiny Smasher. Come on, Joker. Okay. Got a Cyclone. Atom Smasher. Two. There's a Lex back there and a Lobo. A couple soups. And looks about the same over here. Let's go. Let's, if there's anything else, guys, I'll pop it up on video. But I think that's, uh, well, I forgot to. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's an Ahsoka. It's a good figure right there. All right. Let's, uh, let's go see if they got anything else. All right, guys, what's the number one rule when you go toy hunting? That's right. Look up. First time seeing this. What are we at? $27.99. So there you go, first time finding the stealth suit. Future Foundation Spider. Well, you got April. Well, the Bride of Frankenstein, April O'Neil. And you open it up huh, in her head. So you have the talking heads and not the modal nodes and figure and Dan at the discotheque of Walmart and not the rooftop galaxy bar. So hopefully Talking Heads doesn't come in too much in this quick video because we care. Dream Bright. Dream Bright, find some Black Series. Not today. Man, I ain't been here in like a week and they completely moved everything. So you got your diecast Hot Wheels over there. Okay, so there we go. Ooh, this is new. Okay, that was fun. Let's <laughs> let's go see what else they got, guys. I don't got a lot of time this morning. You got your Fortnite over here. You got Mario top shelf. You got Vader and Mando. I love this. Oh, you got your Millennium Falcon. I love those. I might get those, and I might actually send them to my granddaughter. <laughs> All right. What is that? What? What? Try me, squeeze. Okay. Try me, press talk release. Oh, wants me to say something. <laughs> Not right now. Mission Flee, there's the Boba Fett. We got some more. That's the new thing, guys. That's all we're gonna get. Because that's all we got. Come on, man. All right, maybe that's why I haven't come back in a, about a week or two. Oh. Okay. DC McFarlane. Nothing going on. Seems like they'll get a good wave and then they go back to what they had two years ago. <laughs> well, guys, looks like a bust. Looks like a bust. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and just go to work like most adults do. I really wish I could just play the Billy Joel song in the background. Haven't seen you for the longest time. I know why. Yeah. Haven't haven't seen toys in the longest time. Not at this Walmart. 
It's been a while. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, let's go check the NECA. And um, just like to say that my dreams, my dreams have been crushed. Thanks, pal. Yep. We haven't seen anything for the longest time. Just go ahead and look up the lyrics by Billy Joel and just apply it to this Walmart. I don't know. Have we seen this one? I don't know. Staying up there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you bad gangsters, we're out of here. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to JB's Toy Trunk. We're here on a wacky Wednesday. I don't know where this is going to be placed in this video that you're watching, but that's where we're at. Just stopped by a Walmart. You know, sometimes I go there before work, a lot like many of us toy hunters do. And uh, just checking out the toy. I haven't been to this Walmart in, I would say, a week. And I know they were like resetting and moving things around and I got kind of confused there. But they just moved the stuff that no one's buying to just different places. Still on the hunt for Darth Vader, Obi-Wan, the fifth brother Han. We need to find Han because he's family. He really is. Uh, maybe not my family because he's just avoiding me. Just looking for that. And then that's really about it, guys. It's trying to i think all of us are trying to dial down just a little bit because of all these pre-orders catching up and there's been some heat getting pushed out there gi joe and of course you know summer's over a lot of us with our big summer vacations if you were fortunate to take a vacation you know it's kind of that recoup so i'm not really looking to buy too much just a few things and again it's still nice to go on a hunt and find a few things so it is a wacky Wednesday, got a long day at work. Guys, it, I, I'm gonna try to push this stuff out as much as I can, but work is just, it's on, you know, you got 100 and right now it's on like 8,600. So it, it's just top pumper, it's just going all the way in. Tonight, I have to stop by a Target. I have been getting leads that the new NECA stuff is out. I've got pictures, in-hand pictures, in our area of all the new tmnt stuff and i'll put them like right here right now and just show you that they're there but i like to get out there do you know catch it on film show you guys look it's still here maybe even flash a barcode up there in case you're looking for it so tonight regardless of how late it is as long as it's not before 10 o'clock because that's when target closes i will be hitting up a target so all right, guys, at the Somerville Target, and we got wrestling, we got Chase. Uh, I don't know if those are big or small guns. Look, finally, 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 finally. Move, Obi Wan, finally, finally. All right, All right so don't see the Obi, but I got the Darth. We're gonna go home with Darth today. So, about time, shoot. What else did I got? Same stuff. Oh, definitely got that. I don't know if I need another one of those. Good on Reva. Got another figure in Dan. I might actually need to get another one of those. If you haven't seen my little short on Instagram, go check it out. I thought it was kind of funny. Let me know, what do you guys think? <laughs> I can't play it on YouTube because uh, copyright strikes so um cool let me uh let me go look at these real quick and let's see what else they got of course don't forget to check your end caps because there's another darth vader hanging out with a four millennium falcon so excited to see this is an awesome vader guys let's go let's see here we got our hot wheels looks like it's about the same as just the other day i was here um let's see if they got the new no, oh yeah, look at that. Got the bunny. Usagi, Usagi Yojimbo, I think that's how you say it. Oh, wow, look at that, guys. Let me know, are you guys collecting this? I know it's a little bit smaller figure, but it comes with a lot of accessories to include one of Owen's dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. How about that? How about that mashup? Oh, what do we got down here? We got the turtle the uh, four pack and a lot of you guys already have this um 
outside of the action figure, I don't think there was really too much else going. Huh? Yeah. Rock soldier hiding in the back. So let's let's do this right, man. All right, guys. So I actually found a third Cyclone Jimbo. So you got three of them, and then the uh, four pack, and then of course the uh, Turtle Gang and Rock Soldier. All right, guys, are hitting hard. Of course, like we've been seeing, Seth Rollins and Gonzalez. But look at that, no Ricky the Dragon. And I should have grabbed him when I was in North Carolina, guys. All right, lessons learned. I'll be looking for it. I have a feeling he'll be around. We got T-Bar. This is a chase. T-Bar rows. Let me know if you guys know the T-Bar row. Remember, soft knees, T-Bar row. Squeeze it at the traps in the back, shoulder blades together. Let's get some reps. Mad gains, yo. Mad gains. Let's go check this next aisle. Here. There we go from Marvel Legends. You got some uh, Peter Parker. You got some of the uh, Build a Tank Wave stealth suit. A lot of stealth suits. I'm gonna wait long. I'm gonna wait super long game. 50 to 70 percent off on that guy. And if I don't get it, I'm all right. DC got some gold labels up there. And then Martian Manhunter gold label. And then your uh, Superman, Batman. Page punchers, the new page punchers. Let me know what you guys think. I think uh, we call him Turbo Man. Shout out to uh, is it Toy Shiz? I think he called it Turbo Man, the new Flash. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let's go see what NECA has, guys. Just when you think you're done, then you actually find the NECA stuff near uh, near the cat litter century, near the kitty litter. Man, punch back. Look at that guy. This is amazing. The skull, got the brain, you got me in the reflection. You don't want that, you want that. I'll take some pictures, guys. And like I said, go check out Man Cave's review of this guy. Awesome. So how many have we got here? We got, looks like five, six of them. Pretty cool stuff. Got Ash, Evil Dead, oh, Wolfman. Wolfman, Low in the Dark. It's pretty awesome. So we found Mummy and we still need to find Frankie. So there's the Mummy. Mummy and Wolfman. Pretty cool. And who else? Oh my gosh, guys. The Bride. With head on. I know Marcia found one at another store. No head. Man, this is amazing. Guys. I'm gonna fight myself grabbing this. Alright, decisions. I'll let you guys know. Wacky Wednesday coming to an end. It is 7.10 in the evening. The sun's shining bright on me. Shining 196 degrees of heat on me. And in that target, we're leaving. Outstanding. Glad I went. New TMNT NECA just to find. And you know, JB, I can't buy that stuff because that's just not me. That's not my style. It's not my lane. Star Wars is my lane and we found almost all of it. Oh, almost all of it. We're still looking for Obi. We found Darth, we found Reva, two figure and Dan's and the Princess Leia. So, you know, I'm confident I'll find Obi. I do have the Target exclusive Obi on pre-order. So that's it, just two Obis is all you need. So we'll see. But they had the Ned and Peter Parker two pack along with the stealth suit. Not bad, they did have the new WWE wave minus one Ricky the Dragon steamboat, common and chase not there. So. I should have grabbed it when I was up there in Charlotte, but rats. Anyways, good hunt today. Hang around, stay tuned for the haul portion for the what's in the trunk portion of the video just to see what exactly I picked up because I was in there 
about 20 minutes a lot longer than normal so it'll be interesting what i what i picked up making it rain money back to target all right so nothing too much has changed we have some of the same gi joe and Marvel legends you guys can see up there same dc farland superpowers don't forget your used gatorade bottle and some thievery some shenanigans you got the beatles up on the music you got some new retro carded and some tvc some landos and we found family check that out good thursday morning on his family we bringing them home the fifth brother not the 86th brother man yes outstanding outstanding so we'll put him next to safekeeping with grogu and then of course you got your james earl jones yes rule the galaxy rule the fifth brother rule the family that's what we're doing as we look at our micro squadrons talked with our buddy man cave i think he's gonna get hooked on that stuff what do you guys think i think he will <laughs> that's right you don't know the power of the dark side and the micro squadron so a little mission fleet looks like the same nothing new let's see if there's a chase in here tie fighter ob x-wing darth vader okay all right, guys, let's go see down here. Oh, don't forget family. Han. Got your troop transports up there. Let's see what's up there. Some older DC. Check over mode two. Oh, what? What? I can see you. I haven't seen the Cena. I can see you. The Drew McIntyre should get that for, for my boy. And then, of course, they got the jams. But look at that snout, spout, and leech. What? What a morning. What a morning. There's the Roton with your. Your green and orange pistol. That's the Mountain Dew pistol right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. I don't collect Motu anymore. Or do I? So, let's see. Oh. All right, we're going to move the pistol. Yep, we're in South Carolina. You can have pistols. Got a little I Can't See Me. Got Han. Oh, snout spout. Snout spout. Probably going to pass on snout spout. Jeez, I don't know. It's fun, guys. It's fun. All this fun. Look at that. And as we got the jams going at 6.20 in the morning... Anything else to add to that little montage of awesomeness and plastic? Got Godzilla. We know where he's at. Actually, I got to show you guys my new Super 7 reaction Godzillas. Godzilla. What's the plural of Godzilla? Godzilla. All right. I'm going to go make decisions, guys, and see what we're going to do with this. Amazing, amazing score on a Thursday. Well, I'm hanging out with with one of our guys in the local area. He said, he said, hey man, go check this out. So the whole wave that I've been waiting for and looking for, I got all of these now, except, except now I can complete it. Obi-Wan and the fifth brother, Han. So we good now. We are good now. All right. Just stopping in for some snacks and Somerville Walmart pretty stacked. This is dope. This thing is huge. What is that? Crystal grade? Crystal grade? 
Got some Black Panther Killmonger up there. Uh, oh yeah, build a tank wave. Some Marvel, some DC, some Black Adam. Uh, oh, I see it from here. Star Wars hit Somerville. Awesome. Obi-Wan, which we picked up yesterday. Darth Darth. Bigger and Dan. Oh no, Garth and Reva. Great score, great score. Glad we found that yesterday. But yeah, it's hitting, guys. Finally. Finally. Fortnite and AEW WWE. Well, we can see him. That's about it. You got your Drew. Shout out to Drew McIntyre. You got your Crunchy Bray Wyatt's and a Ric Flair. Give that woo. Give up that woo. Give up that woo, Disco. I think you just wooed a little too much there, He-Man. Get your power attack back on that pig. Power attack and your woo back on that pig. Hey, look. What? Let's do this again. 21, 22, and 23. Count is up. That looks awesome, guys. And then your 86 Lady J's bird. Great day here at Somerville Walmart. Good times, guys. Look top shelf. Got your Darth and Mando up there. So, let's see, is there a chase in these micro mini, micro mini squadrons? Micro <laughs> mini, stop, settle down. Nope. Nothing else going on there. I still have to get one of those. Maybe not today, but one of these days I'm going to pick up one of those, see if I can find a chase. All right, guys, just stopping in real quick, like I said, for snacks. But we found some awesome stuff. There you go, Obi-Wan Wave. Skip down the security droid. Got the Darth, got the Dan. Grab Leia, and then, like I said, 21, 22, 23. Pretty cool. Good Friday morning. You bad gangsters of plastic. All my homies out there, all my toy hunters out there, all my collectible enthusiasts, anyone and everyone between, young and old, experience level, novice, to the expert. That's a, that's a good hunt. These past couple days, great hunts. From the Wacky Wednesday to the uh, Thrilling Thursday, into the fantastic Friday. It's just a it's just a good week, you know what I mean? When you can go from Charlotte, busy at work, kind of like what's going on, and then just boom, just hit you right up, all up in all up in your grill. Look at that. A little spirit. Spirit. Four spirits. A saber tooth. Look at that. Got no uh. -uh. Marsha's over here finding fifth brothers. Look at that, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Well, I got a busier to save the day. Is he? I am unstoppable. Whoa, the most electrifying entertainer in entertainment history. Well, I got a busier to save the day. Look at that. Look at that nice little swing action. Time to take care of business. Time to take care of business. Look at that. That's nice. We have uh, Black Panther and the sisters, Killmonger, Marshall's over here. Oh, look at that front, front and center. Little General Zod, Platinum Edition. What? You're kidding me. Man, no one goes to this Walmart. We're, we're in a different part of uh, South Carolina right now. This is pretty cool. Look at that. Is that a chase? Not a chase. Look at that. You found fifth brother? I get a circus. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, this is better than nothing, though. Look at that little Vader back there. Vader, fifth brother. Drew McIntyre? Yeah. Drew's the man. Look at that little Princess Leia security droid. Here's some of our family guys. I think this one's better than the one I got. Yeah, the paint apps on the one I grabbed is a little off. Yeah, this is pretty good. 
Ahsoka client focus fader back there. All right. Anything else there? No chases. Chases. No chases. Motu. Drew. Hey. You know what we need to find is Ricky the Dragon. Because I found him before and I left him. Some Roo, some woos. Ooh, little Hulk. Hulkamaniac. Hollywood Hulk. Two of them. There are three of them. Two Hulks. A couple woos and your quartet of Bray Wyatt. There you go. You get your spirits. Vader. There's two of them. Just didn't want to put them in the shot. Surrounded by many Dwayne Johnsons, Security Joy, Princess Leia, and two. General's odd. Those are fresh. Those are just straight out the package. Not bad. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just leave these for another collector. Go ahead and leave them up there for another collector. They're they're up there on the aftermarket, but we'll, we'll save them for somebody else to uh, resell. So we'll put our spirits back. Star Wars. This is a good one. Pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. guys back thank you Marsha welcome to Jason alright let's go see what else they got to say no I don't need pumps someone else does uh we got Mummy back there, Jason, April O'Neil's. Yeah. Pop. Funko Gold. Don't touch that. That's right. Me neither. Oh, this, this is new. I ain't seen a uh, rocket yet. That's new. Seen Drax. Let's see. We've seen Star Lord, Mantis, Drax. Yeah, we've seen them all. Get your experience. How's your experience? Well, nothing but pops. Here's that Spider Man. That's pretty good. Yeah. I like it. I like the comic yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they have they have him and Thor. Thor. Still. See these exclusives. Purge Trooper. These went pretty quick at our at our Walmart. They went like first day. Right. Yep, more on the other side, more of. Oh. Okay, so you found this yesterday, right? So there's. You could. Stop. Hammer time. <laughs> there's four of these back here. Stand them up, don't fall down. And you said you found this at our Walmart. So you could technically get four of these and army build all these guys, but they're going to stay here because no one really likes these. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Have you guys collected these? I like the, the idea, you know, making it look like the game, the Nintendo game, the cartridge. But uh, for my first time seeing it, and my first time saying, I'll never get that. What? You've seen these before. Yes, there's an Amigo. Same packaging as the um, Young Frankenstein. Yeah, we've seen that before. All right, guys, we're out of here. Oh, here's the Drax. Now we're out of here. Here we are, guys, for the what's in the trunk portion of the video. You know how it is since I think before I even started this YouTube channel. It's always been what's in the trunk and this is how we like to end our videos. So we're going to let you know what's in JB's toy trunk right now. It was a long and exhausting week at work, but last Sunday I was able to go up to Charlotte and see our buds, Man Cave Collectible Reviews and Zach Jack Dan. 
unfortunately man cave wasn't able to go out with us but i was able to stop by real quick and we met up real quick and said hi well you know what i'm coming up here to go see some of our other guys trying to i was trying to trade a few things at some of our local stores but it wasn't working out but i did also get a chance to meet up with zach jack dan and also our buddy jace jace if you don't know he is a awesome awesome creator creative mind when it comes to like 3d printing and um you've seen it on our instagram we highlight it here on our our channels for a little bit but i was finally able to go up to cherryville north carolina to see his store store is amazing and i'm going to go ahead and put some pictures in here as i as i'm going through it and he is he's doing his thing he has a full-time job as well as owning this store and trying to bring the 3d i guess community or 3d knowledge to everyone in his community and of course the surrounding uh charlotte area so let me go ahead and show you what i picked up a lot of you guys have already seen it i think uh mr Sintastic had a video where he picked it up i know zach jack dan recently talked about in his i think it's his latest video his pickups about the uh, emperor throne room so i don't know if anyone else to my knowledge and i'm sorry if i forgot but i know for me i wanted one so here's mine here it is guys the emperor throne room from return of the jedi 3d print it does i'm gonna i don't have my battery pack with me right now i don't know where it's at i think my son took it but there's some accent lights it's not super bright but some accent lights around here and then of course this base right here lights up and it gives it a nice effect uh perfect size for a detolf and then it has the cord right there underneath with a little power switch jace thanks again my man uh marcia was upset she couldn't go up there and see you but you know we're down the road Hopefully through this busy season of work, we might be able to get up there sometime before Christmas. So thanks again, bud. Really appreciate it. We were up there in North Carolina. We did do some hunts, which you just saw. I was unable to get that Ricky the Dragon steamboat. I saw it. I said, you know what? The line was, I am not kidding. The line was 86 miles long. I had to meet with Zach Jack Dan. We did go out to Needless uh, Toys and Collectibles. I'm going to do that for a separate video just because this one's obviously too long. So we'll do a separate highlight for Needless in um in another video so check check and stay tuned for that and i tell you what if you like this video go ahead and like comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and when you hit that subscribe button believe it or not if you hit that little bell it's a notification bell it'll let you know when i'm gonna drop that needless video <laughs> so Starting the, the work week, you know, trying to get out to the Walmarts and Targets as much as I could. We went right into a Wacky Wednesday because I really didn't see anything, you know, since then. Wacky Wednesday, terrific Thursday, fantastic Friday, and Super Saturday. One, two, three, four. All four days, finally finding the Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, Black Series wave. So, great. And early in the week, I was able to pick up a few things. I think I got this at the Target. I found a wave. It didn't have the fifth brother or Obi-Wan in it because that was the last of the three for this wave that I needed. I do have the um, Empire, Darth Vader, and this one. I think this one's a little bit different, and I'll know once I start opening them up. Right around the cape and the shoulders area. So, And again, I heard someone say, I couldn't remember who someone said it. You really can't have too many Darth Vaders. I agree with that because I have one and I think I have like one in box, you know, just, just to have. This guy's going to come out because he might be in a different setup. Potentially, um, my other one, I'll flip flop with my um, Emperor setup. Ooh, a couple days later. I don't know. Thursday or Friday, whatever it was. I think it was like Friday morning at a Walmart. Finally, we'll start with this guy. The main reason for this, I guess this, a lot of this wave was this, whether or not you like the movie or not, they came with action figures. Hmm. Do the figures make the movie or the, do the movies make the figure? Put it in the comments, let me know. That's right, everybody. I've been doing some silly, corny dad jokes all about being family and everything. And yes, our brother, the fifth brother of our family has finally made it. That is Han from Fast and Furious and now Star Wars Legacy. Welcome welcome home, my friend. Wait, he's an Inquisitor. He's a bad guy. Go away. So 
looking forward to opening this guy up. There's a there's this awesome lightsaber with a steering wheel. Hmm. It could have been a good HasLab. I'm just kidding. It was horrible. I was also able to find the Fall Geek Out a thon stuff. I don't know what Target's calling it. And then we all kind of said, I put a post in it like what? A couple of weeks ago on my Instagram saying, this is, come on guys, what is this really going to be? <laughs> it worked out. Thank you, Target. It worked out because they're stocked. Uh, Century of the Mad Collector. I think uh, our buddy Kent Poole, I'm pretty sure he found it and made a video of it and everybody's finding it. So I'm, I'm kind of late posting this as far as, oh, our buddy, uh, <laughs> Mr. Fantastic. I think he left work to go find this stuff. So he found it and this, I found it too. And what I was getting at is the TMNT Universal Monsters mashup. Um, I haven't had a April in my collection until now, just because I looked at this. The knees are a little bit better than the other knees. I'm like, whatever. I think I'm more into that head sculpt, that that style. Bride of Frankenstein. I actually have the Bride of Frankenstein uh, Super 7 uh, reaction figure. And, you know, I think that's just cool. I think we we needed something like this. So, especially with the the setup with with the guys i skipped on him but who knows i'll probably go back and try to find him hmm and the reason why i say i'm gonna try to find him is because i have one of his brothers <laughs> yes the hunchback leonardo check out my man man cave collectible reviews and his review of leonardo as the hunchback it is an awesome review, and you can see there the brain, the skull, and an awesome looking figure. So I can't wait to do some pictures with this guy. I'm probably going to leave these guys in box uh, until Halloween, <laughs> until I get, until I get uh, Frank and Raph, and then of course we've all seen pictures. I'm sorry guys, where is it at? That's why I don't do reviews. I don't know what I'm doing. Where's the picture at? There it is. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going goofy, but uh, you know, Michelangelo, I think as what, the mummy? So I wanted to get him first, but then we need Donnie, right? Donatello and Splinter maybe. So we'll wait to bust these out. We're just, I mean, these are nice boxes. We'll just put them on a nice shelf. I have been clearing a lot. And yes, Laura, I'm still working on that room tour for you. <laughs> That is it for the pickups, but you know how I am in my pre-orders. Probably not as bad as Zack Jack Dan or Century the Mad Collector. I'm just kidding. Those guys just had a lot of pre-orders just hit all at once. I know I did that a couple weeks ago too. So um, it's just always fun. But I have uh, the, the blade, not just any blade, razor blade, mail call. This says Hasbro. It looks like kind of a deluxe box. Kind of a... I'm doing this right now, opening it. I'm splitting this pack with my bud, um, Man Cave, just because he has a figure that was in this two pack and I there's a figure that I want and it worked out that we're, it's one and one. And now that I saw a review, I think um, MCU Collector put a review of it. I think I want both. So Man Cave, if you don't want this, just let me know, I'll keep it. And, <laughs> That's right, Silk and Doc Ock. I don't have a Doc Ock just because I wasn't collecting really, really Marvel Legends, you know, at any time. But there you go. Fox. Not bad. Um, check the paint apps out. Oh, wait, that's no mind. I will put this in my photo box and open it up with the lights so you could guys could see it a little bit better as i open it up and it, again it's not really a review but it's an overview thanks man cave here we go guys we're gonna do a quick overview of this two-pack it is the silk two-pack marvel silk and doc ock uh again i need this figure man cave wanted that so we're going splitting it 
barcode. I don't even know if this is going to even end up in stores, but you never know. We got the pictures on the side. Artwork right there. And then there is the back of it. You can see some of the accessories. I am not going to open them out of the uh, fortune cookie bags. I will open him up though, because that is not mine. That is for Man Cave. Okay, they gave us words. Man Cave, you want this? I don't. All right, first set of fortune cookies. It looks like Doc Ock stuff. So we'll go to the right. And then, and then, and then, and then. There we go. So I wasn't ripped off. I didn't get any Power Rangers. Not saying Power Rangers is a ripoff, but I don't want Power Rangers. This looks like Doc Ock's arms there. Just like that looks like a silk to me. That looks like a Doc Ock. I don't yeah. see silks accessories. I'm guessing it's in there. Oh, no, wait. There it is. There's there's one of her head sculpts. Okay. Woo! Hasbro almost got me. Well, I still have to open it up, so they still might get me. All right, so we will put Silk back in here. And then her head sculpt. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. Let's see if we can get better light on there. Wow, I don't even know if I want to get rid of this man cave. I'll sell it to you, man. $60. Head sculpt. One, two, three, four, five. Hands. Head sculpt. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, looks like we're good to go. So let's go ahead and open the rest of our dock off. Pretty good to me. Ooh, a little, little loose right there. A little, little gummy. Very gummy. I don't know guys, is that normal? There's the Doc Ock from the Amazon exclusive, I think. I think it's an exclusive. I'm pretty sure it is. We got Spidey over here. And then, of course, my new Rhino that I recently opened up from Hasbro Pulse. I'll go ahead and stand Rhino up. We got Doc Ock. You got Rhino. Put him behind him, but he might, his, his legs are in the way. There you go. Last mail call item. It is a soft plastic bubble wrap. And there should be cardboard in there. And it's supposed to be from Walmart. Yeah, we're opening this up on YouTube. I don't know when they're going to get it, guys. When are they what when are they gonna understand? Okay, it is a Star Wars vintage collection deluxe figure. And there it is. A little bit of a bend, but it wasn't crunchy like most of y'all's gung hoes, destros, and baronesses. I said y'all, you're welcome. It is the Imperial Stormtrooper Navarro Cantina. Oh, 
Who has a cantina? Oh, I do. Great. Can't wait to open this up. I'll do the same thing with this. I'll open them up in the, um, in the light box so you guys can see it a little bit better. Here we go, guys. The overview number two, Mandalorian, Star Wars Mandalorian. The Vintage Collection, Imperial Stormtrooper, Navarro Cantina. It's got the old school Kenner logo. Got his cannon. Get some, boy. That's how you get some in the Imperial days, right there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the what's in the trunk portion of the video. Thank you for hanging out through that long week of hunting. It's been a fun and exhausting week. Great finds out there. Hopefully you're finding the same things too. What do we got on the horizon? Well, let me go ahead and tell you. We have the Needless Toys and Collectibles uh, quick video um, with the remodel. We're going to go ahead and do that. I did pick up a few things there. Why not? Still working on some of my TVC unboxings. If you guys stuck through most of the video, you saw that I did a little one-minute promo of my uh, figure and Dan in the modal nodes little, little setup that I have. I just love having those guys in here. I do plan on doing a little mishmash video with those guys and maybe the Muppets, any other band members that I might have in the area. It's fun. It's fun to do stuff like that. That's it. Wow. What a week. Labor Day weekend. I might actually have some time off to probably not even go out and hunt and just stay home and clean my house. <laughs> That's a good problem to have. You know what I mean? Biz staying busy and, you know, doing stuff like this. I truly appreciate everybody who's been giving me the, the kind words, comments on Instagram and on this channel, sticking with me, hanging out with my hunts and, you know, going through me on this journey. I am still a rookie and novice in the world of collecting. I have never said that I'm not. But with good guys like, you know, Man Cave Collectible Review, Zach Jack Dan, uh, Kent Poole right there, the Carolina Connection. And then, of course, I got in the Northeast, Jersey Geek, Mr. Sintastic, and the one and only, the, the daddy himself, Sentry the Mad Collector. Um, you guys have really inspired me before we even met to start this journey. And I appreciate all the words of wisdom and, of course, the, the constructive criticism that, you know, to get me to this point. So thank you guys. And then again, one more time right back to you, all you guys that are always with us in the JB's Toy Trunk. It's been fun. And uh, I continue to look forward to putting out different and more content. Uh, Marsha's definitely getting out there more with me on hunts. And it's been fun taking her with me because one, it's fun to go with a partner and a spotter. You always need a spotter. You know, you always need like a, a, a teammate. You know, we need to work in teams. You know, who's going to be my spotter? You know, places like when you go to the 702, you always need someone like that, especially when you're working with a lot of numbers. It's always good to have one of those guys there. So thank you, Marsha, for hanging out with me. Thank you for supporting me and I, us in this little journey. Little. <laughs> little journey. Yeah. Enough about that. Have a safe weekend. Have a great Labor Day. If you are fortunate to have Labor Day off, please use it to your advantage. Stay safe and enjoy because come Tuesday, most of us are back on the grind laboring. Work hard, play hard, one of my many mottos. So with that being said, work hard, play hard, but always enjoy the ride in life. And we'll see you guys next time. You guys take care. Peace.